hello guys welcome to my channel if you're new here do well to subscribe okay um so today is um the 18th of um of march 2023 which is the governorship election day here in enugu so um there are a few vehicles on the road in fact i'm sure the vehicles that they're coming out now because in the morning when i initially tried to come out i noticed that no vehicle was actually like moving around you couldn't even see like a private vehicle so i'm on my way to obara square and yeah to go cast my vote but then in the Enugu, with the reports i'm getting from obara square they say nobody is there they said people didn't show up people didn't come out and i'm like why why are people not showing up have we really given up on the country is it because i know disappointed us before or is it just us acting up for me i feel like we should always give it a shot you understand we shouldn't give them the whole power to decide who becomes our governor or our president do you get it i feel like we should just come out you know do stuff and just try to get um just try to get answers ourselves so I, I was trekking all the way from gra that that's where i live so i had to take the tunnel so right now i'm just um approaching the i'm approaching the the street light oh now cars are actually moving now so this is afternoon already yeah this is 11 this is 11 30 to 12. Mm, i can pretty much see some cars so i'm approaching the the traffic light after the the tunnel so yeah so that's it so i have actually been trekking because i don't mind trekking i have my cap to protect me from the sun and that's it okay so um i just had to you know continue the video from here because you know i didn't want to just you know be making video and them trekking down that whole length from old artisan down to this um market square that's um otiba junction this place is called otiba junction yeah or otiba roundabout so apparently these um army people they blocked the road like i just showed before so vehicles they were going they just had to like tell them to go back so i couldn't really take um a video of that very because i know i don't want i don't want the army official to be like oh why are you putting the video on me okay so continue with my journey down to abara square so i'm heading down to new heaven junction from from otiba roundabout you can see the banks around there's a lot of posters on this road a lot of banners and you can see the M mrs filling station is really really popular okay so i'm actually trekking that's why this video is going like slowly 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 okay it's going really slow and i don't want to um if i fast forward this so much it's going to be like <laughs> It's going to give you a headache because my hand wasn't really stable when I was doing the video because I was working. Then I couldn't really get like a really good um, footage because my hands were somehow like moving around, moving around. Okay, okay, okay. Since I decided to make this journey alone without the car, nothing, just my leg and my bag and my phone too so let's continue so but my left hand side is new heaven but right now i'm going down to independence layout axis so this is independence layout axis this is independence layout axis hmm that's the health filling station by my left the health filling station new heaven junction yeah it's very popular here very popular in enugu so now my plan now is to walk all the way to opera square i don't know if i can do that but i just have to try my best 
I'm still working. I'm still working. I'm still working. Okay. So. Okay. No joke, but at this point, I was really, really getting my steps in. And my leg is apparently paining me. My leg is actually paining me, but what can I do? I want to make this video and the rest of them. So, I mean, I want to show you guys how it is. And again, there is no way. Keke! Let me know if I can stop Keke. It didn't work. It did not work. This Keke wasn't really going to stop for me. You guys know the village bistro. Yeah, this is where it is. Just after the Evan bus stop. So this is the village bistro. Trust me guys, this video is becoming so, so... Mm. Okay, my legs are pinning me. But I guess I have to reach up a square like this. So, hey, hey. I don't tire today. Okay, 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 okay. We continue working. So, by my right is actually this school. This popular... um secondary school spring of life yes i mean yeah spring of life international school it's owned by um a redeemed pastor or it's owned by a redeemed church i don't know it's owned by a redeemed church spring of life international college and go mm. so that is it so i think there's kind of a little um florist um this thing here oh these flowers are so beautiful i just had to admire them so yeah i guess it's private owned by a florist the flowers are really nice and i think there's a river down there you know which provides the water just like a little stream that provides the water for this um for you know growing these flowers it's a good idea. I like it. Horticulture is boom. Horticulture is bay. Okay, so we keep walking up. Yeah. Right there, as you can see, that is Golden Roya. Is it? That is... Yeah. Oh, sorry, not Golden Roya. Is it Golden Roya? Yeah, that's Golden Roya. That's Golden Royal Hotel, Golden Royal Resort in Nugu, or whatever, Golden Royal in Nugu. So I've heard a lot about this hotel. I've not really um, um, been to the hotel before. I mean, I've been there only once and it's been a long time. But definitely not to lodge. You know, it's not a five star, but I think it's a four star yeah i heard it's a four star i have to check it i don't know if it's up to f no it's not up to five star there is no five star um hotel in the whole of enugu there is no five star hotel in the whole of enugu okay so we keep walking we keep walking slowly 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 oh god Okay, so this place is called City City Center. It used to the place used to happen back in the days, so so I don't know what really happened. And you know, everywhere was um you know every shop here was vacated, and um I think the property is up for sale. I don't know. It hasn't come to my table in any way. Ah. Okay, so we keep walking. Ah, we're no longer walking. We're not inside Keke. Thank God I found the Keke. Just look at the road. Just look at the road. There's no one on the road. Okay, there are people actually, but you know, mostly people walking. They can count how many vehicles on the road. The reason why there are not much vehicles on the road today is because, like, not everyone has um, a transportation pass. You must obtain it from either your organization 
or your place of work but you must have like a transportation pass I, mean, I didn't really bother to get one because i didn't really see the need to get it so yeah so we just we are passing rubber stores in the penis layout in the pool rubber stores we have like um, four of these in the pool. it's just a shopping mall you know privately owned it's booming really really well in Enugu the business is going so well in Enugu yeah so by my left hand is um, the road leading to government house this is called Eziko Junction Eziko you know through this lane is called Eziko and Iweze from this um, from the second bus stop up is called Iweze this independence layout in mm. that's GT Bank by my right that's okay the popular Kupana is just by my right actually you know inside that road just behind this Fidelity Bank that's where Kupana is that's Kupana Club whatever it is. okay so I'm still on the road trying to catch some glimpse of the road the road is empty. Only a few vehicles and KK tricycles are on the road. Okay, that's our humble crunches, crunches a tree, crunches a tree to put this thing out. So, ah, I knew big presidential hotel. I didn't really get a good footage. It's by the right there. This is called presidential road for because of that hotel, presidential hotel. The hotel is no longer functioning, but. I mean, it's the hotel that gave this road what it is. You can't say, um, so, um, yeah, but, like, the hotel is just there. That place where I'm not sold. Nothing. Okay, I don't yeah, really know the reason why we had to follow one way because we were supposed to follow the other maybe, road. But, maybe, maybe, but yeah, this road was. The other road was blocked. Road I guess. I don't know about it, but I know that we encounter some blockade later in this video. Oh, let's keep going. Okay, so for my right hand side is Roots, the Roots Cafe, the Roots Cafe, you know, they also sell Chinese. Okay, so we're approaching Mara Square. Uh, I have to bring the video down at this moment because we have been questioned by an army officer, so. Okay, so. Okay, so we're moving. So, uh, yeah, the road was really road blocked, blocked right so there. Yeah, it was Mara really Square. blocked. So we just had to go through this way. I don't even know why they had to stop all these cars. Okay, that's an army official. Targeting them. I guess they are they've all voted and you know they're trying to get home. Oh, I really came out late. Eleven thirty to two. I'm sure that by now it's already twelve o'clock. Okay, we keep on going, we keep on going. Yeah, that's the Enugu State House of Assembly. Alright. Big, huh? That's the Enugu State House of Assembly. Okay, arriving in Opera Square. Time to cast a vote. Time to vote my candidate. So tell me, who is your candidate? Who is your candidate in this governorship election? Who is your candidate? Most people didn't really reveal their candidates in this scholarship election, especially here in India because there's a lot of controversy. You know, LP, PDP, APC. Not to say APC is not really much of a of a, of um of an of an opposition nowadays. It's not majorly LP and PDP. Okay, I've just arrived. Okay, so this is what we are seeing. This is what's going on in Opera Square in Ubu. Okay, I'm entering the gate right now. Ah, the truth is, much people didn't come out today as compared to what happened during the presidential election. Let's just say it's a quarter of people that came out of, um, on the day of presidential elections that are here right now, like a quarter of it. A quarter. Like it's not even up to half. 
I mean, look at Opera Square is the major place people come to. But like, is the is the is the word of all words? I mean, Opera Square is the word of all words. Like, it's called Opera Square World for a reason. Okay, so I'm mostly seeing official cars or cars and. Um, Later during the during the voting, I saw most of my friends here. Most of my political friends that are majorly PDP, um, um, the majorly PDP people, and I just feel like it's, it's them that came out. You know, the political gurus, the political youths, they are the ones that are out. They are the ones that are out here. The political gurus, like. But then there are still other youths that are out. For so just take a look around, you see some empty chairs. For more during presidential election, there was no empty chair here. Okay, I'll be dropping my video now to go cast my vote. I'll see you guys when I'm done. Okay, guys. So I've voted and. Um, I have to be on my way back now because um, it's just a lot here. So let me just go back home. I don't even know how I feel. I feel so tired. Let me call the keke that carried me back again so he can, you know, carry me back to my house if possible. No problem. I don't drink me now. Thank you. Hello. I I can knock one. So, 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 I decided to give you guys a little tour. You know, I decided to just cross over and give a little tour of um, Opera Square and its environs while I wait so, for my KK to come. Actually, I, I just don't want to sit down one place with, with waiting for him. Like I feel like, like there's a lot I could see, so, you know, with this, this little Unity time Park. that I have. <laughs> okay, so this yeah. is Unity Park. Um, uh, yeah. Just to put it up around square. Really this place is so to I'm be um, with Scully Forest when we are young. We are just filled with um, this kind of um, trees. You know, this kind of um, backless trees, soft trees. There's something they call it. Yeah, yeah, I think they call it birch tree. Yeah, birch trees. Really have soft bark, grows very tall. Yeah, these are birch trees okay so this is unity park um is is a new park actually it was um um the the present governor that's governor ifan yugwai was the one that opened this place for recreation outings playground and you know and trust the no good people now even for content creation we they use them I like the place personally, you know, it's kind of an outdoor um park for us here in Inugu. Like all we can find here in Inugu, we no longer have a zoo, we no longer have a museum, we no longer have all these fun places. This is the only place we have now, Unity Park. Mm -hmm. I don't think they opened today, Sha. Um, yeah, there's no way they would have opened today, I would have you know, kind of entered give a footage i might still give a footage later in the future but for now let's go around up around square so 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 we keep trekking yeah this video is really slow because i'm i'm working i'm not i'm not in a car or something so the video is really slow and it's even unstable like my hands are shaking okay so this is independence avenue okay this is independence layout this is the heart of independence layout okay that's up square junction or Barra square roundabout with these three molded um with these three figures you know 
three artwork figures yeah they are really nice i like it <coughs> okay so if you know you very well then you should know that this tall um building inside of Barra square is actually um a this thing like a monument that was built back then by our governor before chimaroke jimobudo yeah so if I, that's what makes up barra square, barra square that tall building okay so um this by my right is actually government house this is like one of government house gates actually this gate leads to the government lodge the governor's lodge the other gate at the front leads to you know government house premises but this particular one leads directly to governor's lodge you can see the ambush um um ambush truck in front of it i don't know what they call it in the military ammo truck yes ammo truck in front of it so yeah actually i grew up in this area so i'm quite familiar with um the government house premises okay okay so normally this road was blocked the fact this road has been blocked for a long time now the road leading from upbara square to government house and from government house to independence layout and just today i discovered that okay it's open so why don't we pass it so i'm still trekking i'm happy it's open though you know map is open i don't think um people have passed here in a long time in fact, leg I've not passed here in a long time. <laughs> Let us put it that way. Even this axis too, this road was closed. You know, going from here to Spa or the other side. The road is the road was blocked and now it's opened. It's also it's very, very good. Yeah, that's the road. See? No more blocks. Before you just see block blocks lined up like this. Your car can pass here. Your car can pass and now it's open god be the glory okay i think it's because of the election though so people will have like easy access to obara square to can cast their votes mm -hmm. okay 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 keep going down 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 ah oh, i have a lot of memory in this area i just like how this place is clean yeah it's clean it's very clean it's good okay so i'm actually approaching the the lion the lion statue the lion statue okay i'm approaching it little by little why taking footage of around my house like this and letting you guys see that enugu is also beautiful enugu is very beautiful though enugu is not it's not enugu is not ugly Enugu is very, very beautiful. Okay? Enugu is really, really beautiful. Okay. Okay, so um, this axis now, I'm just trying to walk down to that statue. That um, white lion statue. Okay, here we are okay so by my right is government house that's where the lion is facing mm? when you hear the lion is here <laughs> it means the governor has arrived so that's government house over there don't have any reason to go there so i'm not going to enter there okay so this area really have a lot of childhood memories for me so i'm actually going down 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 there you see these trees these trees um i don't know the name of these trees but you know they used to produce this um flower kind of stuff like it's so weird when we're in primary school and we just have to walk you know walk this aisle and you know pick up some of these um pro uh, fruits from these trees okay so this is Ugwezi, we used to call it Ugwezi, but this is just government house road. We used to call it Ugwezi, because down, down this road is easy to bus stop. Okay. Okay, okay. Ah, right now, I'm actually tired. In fact, 
Uh, this video will go slowly. Oh. Okay. Not for the faint-hearted. But we are close. We are close to the end of this um, this valley. Thank God I'm not climbing a hill. I'm actually going down a valley. So it's... It's... Mm, it's okay. So we've arrived here. We've arrived here. We've arrived here. So that's a fountain. Okay, so yeah, the very phenomenal site here is this uncompleted uh, mansion. Or would like to call it a completed hotel. It has been here for a long, 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 long time. Even before I was born. It's been here. The uncompleted building I've just been here though. I you can't really say much about it boy. It has just been here for like more than twenty five years now. Since I was born, even before I was born, this building has been here. So there have been mysteries going around, some people saying it has to do with the owner of the land. Um the owner of the land is a reverend father I'll be a pastor. I had the issue I had an issue with the person that that is building and you know laid a course on him. And since then, the house has been like that. Okay, so this is our humble, beautiful fountain that is no longer producing any fountain. So, but it's still beautiful. It's still beautiful. You know, actually, Enugu is clean. Enugu is clean. Enugu is a really beautiful city. That's why we are trying to get a good governor that take care of this state. You know, take care of everything that is in this state very well. You know, make good use of the resources that God has given us. You know, bring in some industries, some development. We need a lot of development in the state. We need a lot of private sectors in the street. Guys, so we have come to the end of today's video. So if you're new to this channel, do wait to subscribe, like, and leave a comment under every video. So my name is Real Tomebi. Actually, my name is Messi Ogo, aka Real Tomebi, your best real estate consultant here in Enugu. So I bring you everything property in the southeast. I'm talking of Enugu, Anambra, Owere, Delta, and finally a boy state. Thank you so much and see you next time. Okay, finally my keke rider showed up and I had to enter. Let me go home and eat. I am hungry. Okay, so I'll still be giving you a small, small video share. So by my left is a dick suit. Yeah. So this um, area is called Metropole when I was small. But when I was younger, I mean, because of um, um, a hotel here named called um, Metropolitan Guest House. I guess that's why they call it Metropole. Okay, but uh, the name of this street is, um, the name of this road is Bisala Road. This whole place is Bisala Road. Yeah, I know this place has Bisala Road growing up. Okay, there is a church here that is my parish, Blessed Sacrament Parish, just by the right. Yeah, that's the church you're seeing by the right. <laughs> when I remember to take footage of it, I've actually passed. I just had to turn my camera though. So that's Blessed Sacrament Parish. So I'll be going through Lagos Street to bust out um, Ogui Road. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Enugu, Amaka, Enugu, Amaka. That's Maybach Hotel by the left. I'm entering Lagos Street, okay? It's Lagos Street, so come out of, um, yeah, Ogui Road. Okay, so this is a green road. I just busted out now. Yeah, so from this green road now, we'll be going up. So this junction is called um, Chris Chemis. That's the name of this junction. After Chris Chemis, you get um, one other bus stop before Njamanze. Yeah, I think this spring, yeah. You get this spring. After this spring, you don't get Njamanze bus stop. Okay, so I'm heading right now to Njamanze. 
Jamaas is typically just them old artisan bus stop. You know. They are very close together. So like here now is in Jamaas. Yeah. In Jamaas right now. So I'm heading to artisan bus stop. This is at the bus stop, so oh, we are supposed to enter the tunnel. I didn't tell him on time, but we still we still made it on time. Okay, so we'll be entering the tunnel to get to GRA. Ah, it's been a long day. I just want to say thank you guys for staying tuned to watch this extent. In fact, if you watch this video to this extent, then know that you are meant to be um on this page like you're you're meant to be seeing all my videos immediately they drop so just kindly hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you get every notification on every video that i drop okay i'll be expecting that i'll be expecting that a lot of it i'll be expecting a lot of it so <clears throat> i didn't say who my candidate was in this election but let god speak for us eh I've prayed and I've casted my vote and I believe God is going to answer our prayer in Enugu. Enugu is fine, Enugu is beautiful, Enugu is a state made, made by God and God will keep on taking care of us. Thank you guys again and see you next time. Bye.